What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Airport CEO. The let's try that we did, the little mini series that we did a couple weeks ago, did really well and I've had so much fun with this game that I think it's time to make it into a full let's play series. So let's get going with Airport CEO. We had a nice trial before, but now it's time to really get things started. So we're going to begin with an adventure here. Let's uh, just kind of change things up here. Just doesn't matter what these are. And first name is going to be and... Last name's gonna be Rue. That <laughs> makes sense, I guess. Continue. Let's be in, how about this place right here? Maybe the tip of Greenland. Uh, confirm airport location. We're gonna be the Greenland International Airport. Greenland Int Air. Because uh, I don't wanna write the full thing, so that's GIA. <laughs> GIA. Hands up, it's the GIA. All right, we're gonna do, uh, let's do moderate. Well, actually, hmm, hmm. Ooh. Wow, this is actually going to be tough if we do moderate. We're getting only about half the cash than we would normally get in easy mode. Um, but, you know, I think it's going to be more fun if we do it that way. Um, and we're going to be, of course, Earth with the moon flying around it. So let's do moderate. I don't think I think the only thing it changes is the, the cash. So let's go ahead and launch. Oh, God, this is going to be fun. Uh, we're going to do something that I actually didn't do in the Let's Try series, which is create a general aviation airport first so that we can start earning a little bit of income before we move on to the actual terminal style of stuff. Alrighty. I already know how to do this stuff. Please. How do I how do I get rid? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, as we did before, the first thing we got to do is we got to press tab, go to our economy, and go to offered contracts. We're going to grab a contract. We have 8.8 .8, uh, and we have 8.3. I'm going to take the 8.3 because even, even so, it's more people as well. That's just the better contract all around. Uh, and of course, every time you play this, you get new contracts. Um, so, and they're always different. But let's go to operations and grab our people. So we're going to deploy all the people. They should be here any second. Uh, next thing we want to do is create our first air airport runway. So we're going to set this over here. Kind of in this corner, I think, is probably the best place to stick it. Not exactly in the corner, but maybe like... Well, maybe exactly in the corner, because we don't really have anything we want to do on this side. So let's put it as far left as we can so that we can conserve space. Not that space is going to be an issue. <laughs> there's so much to this game. There's so many uh, There's so many areas. Um, so there's our runway. Let's get our entry and exit. These are going to be made out of standard grass. And we're going to stick these as far to the side as well. So one over there for the entrance and one over here for the exit. Then we're going to do a nice... Uh, a nice taxiway, which is also going to be grass. We're saving money here with the grass because we kind of have to. And normally what I would do is I would do a five by whatever. But I think we're gonna, we're just going to do a three by whatever. Just because it's going to save us a lot of money. Look, we're spending uh, 43000 instead of 73000 So that's going to be saving us money right there. Uh, let's actually speed things up a little bit so that our guys can start working on this as well. So you'll see the time is, is sped up down there. Uh, next, what we want to do is we want to add a little general aviation uh, area, like a little quarters where planes can get. Now, essentially what general aviation is compared to the sort of terminal stuff we were working on last time is general aviation is small planes uh, that like you might have, like you as a person might own one of these planes. That's general aviation. So we're going to get a couple of aircraft stands. I'm thinking maybe six. Um, we can actually stick them even farther down, which we might want to do. Let's do it. I wish we could stick them one more down, but no, we'll stick them about this far down. Well, if we had this up one, we could... Nah, it's not worth destroying it because it's going to cost too much money. These are 20000 each, so we're going to make a couple of these. Now, we could have large or medium stands, rather, but these are super expensive. But they allow for larger planes. The only problem with larger planes is that you can't have larger planes, and I can't show you right now, uh, unless you upgrade the runway to be about, like, that long, which we can't do because we don't actually have that space. So we're, we're going to keep with smaller stands. The thing about larger stands, though, is that, that they, they give you more money, like a lot more. Small stands, and we're going to have one, two, three. We're going to have six more small stands like that. We're going to need a taxiway right there. And I, I know I'm talking fast, but we're going a lot faster than we did in the Let's Try because we already kind of know how things are going. Um, so so we can do that. It's, it's, just, it's a bit easier. Uh, next thing that we're going to want to do, now that we have our small stands set up and our taxiway is mostly set up, we're going to want to set up oil right off the bat because oil is going to provide us with a nice way to make money actually you know what we want to do first before we do that we want to make our road kind of go off to the side like we did last time let's put it up here and we'll just go off to this side right here because i want to have this area clear to do stuff so we're going to create one of these and remember the pitfall we ran into last time is that we destroyed this road before we finished creating this road so we just literally couldn't do anything that was funny 
Uh, I hope the devs were watching that so, th so that they know that you shouldn't be able to destroy your access to this before you have another one. Otherwise, it might cause you big problems. Okay, looks like our General Aviation Airport's almost ready. Uh, what we do need, actually, you know what? We need one of these. A, um, what am I looking for? One of these. We're gonna go with a small size one for now, because once again, we're trying to save money uh, over here. We don't want to use too much of it. And in fact, you know what? We might want to downsize some of our workers once we kind of have most of the things set up. They're still working quite a bit, but uh, every worker that we have costs money. So if we have less workers here, that's better. Now that the road is made, let's go ahead and destroy these uh, these things right here. And then we'll go ahead and destroy this road as well, because we don't want it uh, for now. So we'll let them go ahead and do that. Uh, make that. Oh, right. Okay, so let's get the, um, let's get the road set up with the, uh, whatchamacallit. So we're going to first, well, let's first research what we need to research for fuel. We're going to go to economy, procurement, and we're going to grab ourselves the Avgas fuel service. Uh, we're going to need a fuel truck as well, but we can't get that quite yet. Next, we're going to go ahead and create the vehicle, whatever it's called, the vehicle depot. Vehicle checkpoint? No, no, we're looking for a vehicle depot. Am I missing it? Is it over here? I think it's over here. The vehicle depot. We're going to stick the vehicle depot like right here because this is where we're going to want the road uh, kind of connecting to that one right there. So we're going to stick the depot right here. Then we're going to have, we're going to need our fuel thing, but we can't get that quite yet. Let's get our vehicle checkpoint. We're going to stick that right here because that's where we're going to want the road to be. Vehicle checkpoint, vehicle depot, and we're going to need some roads. Uh we're going to start with these roads on this side, so a couple roads right there, and then we're going to move to service roads, which I'm going to be using grass for now, like we used before. And we're going to go up like this. It's going to meet up kind of like that. I wonder if I can stick a, another one of those in here. That would actually be really helpful if I could stick another. You know what? Actually, let's, let's try it. Because the more general aviation zones we have, the better, the more money we're going to make. So let's see if we can stick another one right there. Now, one of the pet peeves I have in this game is that you can't stick these uh, these airport, whoever they are. You can't stick these uh, stands here if the like see that that last piece on the left of this stand is a road. You can't stick it there, merging with this road. Like it won't take that spot, which I really uh, is really a pet peeve of mine. I think it should, and looks like we can actually stick one here. But yeah, that that's a road right there, and it just doesn't it, it doesn't allow you to kind of like merge these roads together so if you want to have two side by side you have to have two roads side by side which i just think is a really weird way to do things but uh taxiway foundation let's continue this a little bit awesome uh now we should have most of the stuff done so let's get our nodes set up and nodes are pretty much how the airplane knows where to go uh nodes here we're gonna have to have them coming all the way down there as well and then one for each of these so that the plane knows how to get inside here let's wait for these to get created we're ending our first day and i think it was a very productive day we've already got pretty much a, a whole general aviation airport set up we're just getting fuel set up and once we have that uh things will be things will be nice um we're almost at about half of our cash but once again we almost have all of the infrastructure that we need uh set up so let's go ahead and press tab again go into economy we're going to grab ourselves a fuel truck we're only going to grab one because we need to we need to pay attention to cash we're also going to go to offered contracts and we're going to set up a contract with never mind we're not going to set up a contract quite yet because we don't have our fuel contract set up but if we go to here we can grab ourselves a fuel depot how much is this one twenty five thousand to eight thousand the twenty five thousand one stores a whole lot more but it's so expensive ah we're gonna go with the eight uh, the eight thousand dollar one right now the twenty five thousand dollar one is just so expensive and i can't i, I don't know I, I just can't uh use use all that money right there quite yet uh most of our stuff is built for now so we're going to dismiss a bunch of our workers so that we can save a little bit of cash let's go to operations and we're going to allow gen gen aviation because we're gonna have to do that eventually as well um we're going to go ahead and dismiss we have about 50 of them so we're going to dismiss i think we're going to dismiss like 25 of them so that we have half or we might even dismiss uh let's dismiss 40 of them oh shoot <laughs> and i click dismiss all uh, okay, we're going to deploy another... Let's have 10 of them deployed. How about that? So pretty much they're all going to be taken away on the bus and then they're going to come back. Wait, is that them? Holy crap. There's so many buses. <laughs> That's funny. 
Uh, but we don't need them for now. Okay, let's set up our airport so that we can start getting some general aviation. There's that spam mail I talked about before uh, in the Let's Try series. How are we doing on time? We're only 10 minutes in and we've already pretty much got an airport done. That's pretty good. Uh, so general aviation is a check. Um, we can't toggle commercial flights yet because we need attached boarding desk, but that's okay. We'll eventually be able to do that. Uh, general aviation, open. General aviation, open. We're just going to keep doing this. General aviation, open. General aviation, open. You might ask why I'm not skipping through the night because I don't want planes to come in quite yet. I want to be able to fuel them. And speaking of fuel, well, let's make sure this is open. You're open. I think we should be set to receive our first general aviation flights in the morning. Uh, let's press tab. We're going to go to our economy, is it? Oh, yeah, fuel. Okay, so how much are you charging me? Uh, 1.65 per liter. But you're our only contract, unfortunately. So we can't get any new contract. Uh, okay, well, that's going to be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and sign with them. They're going to bring our fuel pretty much immediately. They actually have a very quick turnaround uh, right here. We'll see them popping in over there. We're still not profitable yet, which sucks, but we'll get there. Here we go. And you're going to be refueling now. How fast do you refuel? Hey, you refuel pretty fast. The thing is, though, so this thing is this thing is full. It's 100%, but this is now at 33%. With the larger one, this would be only at like 90% or like 98%. So it stores way more fuel, um, which is nice. Let's go to tab, and we're going to go ahead and skip through the, um, the nighttime. It just goes way faster in the bottom. We'll let that. Oh, we need to set up fuel. There we go. Fuel. Check. Airports open. Check. I think we're good. We can't have ramp agents because we don't have any ramp agents hired quite yet. But I think we have a profitable airport. Or we will have a profitable airport once they land. Um, but all we can really do is um, is let them land and then, and then fill them up when they do. Uh, let's get started on our terminal. Now, once again, we're not profitable yet, which means we're probably going to run into problems while building our terminal in trying to get it... Um, fully set up since we won't have enough money, but uh, we can at least try, right? So we're going to have everything be kind of small. It's going to be a really small terminal at the start, and then we're eventually going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's start with our area, our, uh, our, our, our stands. We're going to let these continue to be general aviation because they're going to provide us with a small amount of money over time, um, but we're going to create a couple of other stands for, uh, for the terminal. So we're going to have... I want to do something like this. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then remember what that is, where that is. One, two, three, there. So this is going to be where our planes are going to uh, to start. So we're gonna have we're gonna start with two. How about that? Yeah, we'll start with two. We can build a third one if we want to. Uh, oh shoot, these are the wrong way. Nope. 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 Beep. Just remember where they are. Uh, these things. I think it was like here or something. I don't remember exactly where it is, so we might run low on space. We'll, we'll do it right here. That, that'll be fine. One, two, and once again, we'll have the third one a little bit later. Let's start with our taxiway. So taxiway right here. We're going to do three again. And we're going to come down from this side. There we go. So basically the general aviation planes are going to come in here. The normal planes are going to come in here. And that'll be that. Uh, the terminal. So we're going to have a sort of small terminal right here. Kind of a, yeah, 6 by 10 might be good. Maybe a, maybe an 8 by, uh, it's only 40,000. It's not that much. I mean, it's, it's quite a bit, but it's not, well. Well, let, let's, let's make it like that. That'll be fine, uh, I think. Then we're going to have... We could put a third one here. No, we, we, we won't care about this side. This is going to be our... Um, well, we'll leave this area blank because I think we're going to have to use this eventually for baggage handling and that sort of thing. Uh, we're going to have our entrance to our terminal right here. So pretty small. Uh, six by five. And then we're going to have our security right there. Once again, pretty small. Um, and once that stuff's built, we'll go ahead and build the road over to it and that sort of thing. Well, actually, I guess we can do that right now. I wonder if I should... You know what? Let's call our... Uh, <laughs> let's call our people again since we're doing quite a bit of, of construction right now. Wait. Oh, okay. So we did have some contractors deployed. 
So the road on this side is going to do something like this. I'm thinking we're going to have a sidewalk first. So right here, this will be mostly a sidewalk. Sidewalks are cheap, so I'm not too worried. We're going to have a 4 by 24 sidewalk right there. Then we're going to have our bus stand, our bus stop right here. And we're going to have a car stop right there. Our road is going to come over here. And it's going to meet up kind of over here. I'm thinking of doing something like this. I know I said I'd leave most of that area blank, but I, I mean, there's, there's some space for that, so it'll be fine. I like it. I think that's going to be good. We're going to have buses coming in here, cars coming in here, and we'll have this stuff set up once it's set up. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be nice. Uh, let's let them set these things up, and then we'll go ahead and, and, and continue with what we are. How's our general aviation doing, by the way, while we're here? Uh, are you guys making us some money? Maybe a little bit. Maybe slowly. What are you guys waiting for? Oh, a plane was landing. Okay. Now, the problem with this one is that it, it, it needs to be reconditioned a lot, which uh, can get annoying at times. You know, I wonder... Well, I guess these are all fueled up, so they don't really need anything, do they? Oh, well. Where are you guys headed? Oh, Lord. <laughs> You're headed to Iceland. You're headed to Iceland? How far is it? You have to go over the ocean to get to Iceland. Can small planes like this do that? I mean, I guess the double props can, but these ones... Jeez. You're going to Canada. That's far. That's, jeez. You guys are going far with a single propeller. That's dangerous. Like, to go over water, you, you know these things crash sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I guess they don't crash very often. You don't really hear about it that often. But didn't, like, Harrison Ford's plane crash or something? I don't remember. I remember Harrison Ford was involved with some sort of uh, airline incident. Uh, right. Okay, so let's get this started over here. We're going to start with a desk, which is going to be a boarding desk. We'll place this. Oh, in a secure zone. Uh, let's make this a secure zone first. Uh, I guess we should wait for this stuff to be finished before we actually set up secure zones and and stuff like that. I think this is a nice small terminal. I think I definitely could have gone smaller with this terminal here. But it'll be nice to be able to have shops in here. And shops provide a lot of money. So uh, we're, we're currently about $600,000 down here with 400000 to go. The shops will be nice to uh, provide us with it. Hey, look. See, we're profitable for a little bit. That's because all these planes just popped in here. <laughs> Making us a little bit profitable. Nice. I like it. Um, all right, workers. Keep doing you. We're going to make this a secure zone. This whole area right here. I want them to finish that first, though. Okay. Let's get some doors in here. We're going to go with large doors mostly where, where we want them. So large door here. A large door here, a large door on this side, a large door right, uh, I'm thinking like right, well, is that even? Dang it, it can't be even, can it? Well, maybe we go with two small doors here. Well, it's fine if it's not even, I guess. One right there, then we'll have two large doors here. Large door here, and large door there. Double large doors going into the main uh, sort of lobby. Okay, that's a secure zone now. We should be able to place a desk. So we're going to go with a boarding desk right there. Unfortunately, it can't be perfectly even. So we're going to have to do it back here, maybe. I really wish it could. Man. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to be fine. We're going to do a boarding desk there. And we're going to do a boarding desk. How far are you off? Two? Yeah, boarding desk here as well, then. These boarding desks are going to be for these things. Those aren't large ones, are they? I hope I didn't make large ones. Small stand, okay. It looked a little bit bigger for some reason when uh, when this was on. That's weird. Uh, let's create a little bit more zone area. We'll create our little security area, and we're going to start with some small checkpoints. Well, 10,000 versus 5,000, but requires four security staff, so I think we're just going to have a couple of these small ones. And we're going to say that the security area starts right on that area right there, so here. That's going to be secure. Uh, and we're going to have just two of these things right here, and they're going to kind of wind around to create their their queues once they're built. Uh, next, we're going to do, we need some boarding desks, or some, some check-in desks, I guess they're called. So we'll go to desks, and we'll go to check-in. We're going to create two of these, because I don't think we'll need any more than that. Um, and we're going to set them back a little bit over here. One, two. Just for this small terminal, I think two is going to be perfectly fine. 
Then while those are being built, let's go ahead and do this. I'm trying to do everything really fast because I want to get the, um, I want to get it so that we build everything so that we can dismiss all of our people. Uh, so he's going to come in or come down this way. Well, let's, let's do this. Let's do some, let's do fun. Do it like this. How come, how come you're being weird? Uh, destroy this one. That one was being weird for some reason. All right, there we go. Are you guys all going the right way? Uh, you're being weird. Why? Some, some of these are weird. I don't know why they do this. Uh, but the, the belt system in this game needs a little bit of work, I think. Um, so you're going to go down next. Then you're going to go this way. And you can come over this way. Uh, there we go. And we're not really going to do much with that quite yet because we don't want to set up baggage because it's a bit expensive. But eventually that's going to be where we're going to set up baggage is going to be over in this area. Since we already have our cars in this general area, it's just going to be easy to, um, to have it set up right there. Uh, allowing cars to come to and from that. Uh, right. Okay. So we want to get this set up as well. So you're going to go like this. Oh, that's going to be weird. Okay. Let's do something different then. Mark all these for destruction. And we're going to do this instead. Man, baggage is always fun, isn't it? Let them destroy. You're going to go down like that. You're going to go up like that. And then we're going to have you guys go down and down. Just like that. Uh, destroy these real quick. We need to replace them because they're being weird again. Man, they really, yeah, they really need to do some stuff with baggage in this game. <laughs> Make it a little bit better. I think that's on their list, though. Like, they're working on that. Okay, that looks good. Uh, let's slow things down. Pause. We're going to set up the queues here uh, while we have things paused. So we're going to set this queue to go back, over, down. We're going to make it as long as we can. I know. Anyone who's been to an airport hates me right now for making them so long. Uh, right there. That's going to be our, one of our queues. And the other one's going to be a little bit smaller. Like, way smaller, actually. Yes. Like, very much smaller. Well, unfortunately, it's smaller, but what we could do as well is we could have this one be an employee queue and then this one be a normal queue for for uh, non-employees. I don't know. Let's get some seating here. I want to give you guys a low quality. Well, they're both the same price, actually. Let's get you guys a medium quality bench. And these, you know, after you go through, you put your shoes on the belt and everything. You got to put your shoes back on. So we'll, we'll just give you like a little area that you can kind of do that for 200 bucks a pop. It's a nice steal, I got to say. Uh, let's get a plant in here. A tree? No, not a tree. We're looking for a, just a plant. We'll stick that right there. Nice little plant to, to liven up the area. Um, can we do something even even nicer as well? $25 for that? That's a, that's also a steal. That's a nice, that's a good price. Unfortunately, we left three area in here. <laughs> it's, it's four. All right, I mean, it's two. It's a two by two. That sucks. But we can do something like this to make it look at least a little bit nice. Uh, let's do the queue for this as well. I'll speed up time again well no i'll keep it paused how about that uh so for the queue for this one we're gonna do we're gonna do left then right then left then right then left then right then up okay after the other one we're gonna do right then left then right then left then right then left then up and that's gonna make a nice little queue right here where any any employee can kind of walk through here and, uh, and get to their area, no problem. We'll have walls in here eventually, but for now, we're just going to have them uh, be normal and stuff. Okay, that's looking nice. Let these people go and do their job. Uh, is that pretty much everything we need for construction? It is, I think, for mostly everything. So let's go ahead and dismiss most of them. We want to dismiss... Oh, hold control. Okay. We want to dismiss... Let's dismiss 48 of them so that we only have 10. And, uh, and that should save us a little bit of money. How are we doing on cash? We're at just below 400000 so that's pretty good. We should have mostly everything we need here uh, set up. Let's hire some security professionals. Uh, it looks like we'll only need two of them, so let's do two security professionals. Applicants, security. We're going to grab... Oh, we might go cheap, actually. We're going to grab you, and we're going to grab for nine... Nine, eight, 14, 13... We're going to grab one of the nines. I don't know that this stuff actually matters yet. I don't know. Does one of you guys know? Tell me if it does. Uh, ramp agents, we're going to make sure that we have at least two of these. 
850. Yeah, these are good. I'll, I'll take the cheap ones. We'll have three, actually. Let's have three. We'll hire more once we get the baggage claim set up, because that's what you need. Um, for airport staff, we're going to want two of them. Well, actually, one, two, three, four, because we have two for each of these things. So we're going to grab uh, one, two. Oh, you're cheap. Wow. Three, four. So we got four of those guys. And I think that should be everything that we need from this. We've got all of our staff. We've got our security set up. Even though people can probably just like hop through that. Uh, we've got our boarding gates set up. Let's connect to a stand. So you connect to that stand and you connect to this stand. Oops. Connect to this. Oh, come on. You being weird? There we go. Connect to that one. Open. Requires a taxiway connection. Oh, right. We need to, uh, we need to go and set up the nodes. Taxiway node. Come down this way. Over this way. And down. And down. Awesome. And you're set up. Let's allow this. Allow that. Awesome. Okay. Now we have a full thing set up for planes. And we should have a full terminal set up. At least the basics. We've got all the basics of a nice airport set up for as much cash as we started with, which is pretty amazing. I don't know how you'd only start with 200,000, 250,000 though, because we were we used at least 300,000 to set everything up. That would that would be so painful to set. You'd have to have only like one or two of these things, and you'd be making like zero money. I don't know. It'd be it'd be tough. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's get our first planes in, and then we'll call it an episode, and we'll be able to continue in episode two. Uh, economy. We're gonna go to offered contracts. We're gonna go with maple i guess we'll go with maple we'll sign with two of these i usually like to sign with two uh, because we don't have too many stands uh, but two ensures that we'll always have some flights available and we'll do um skyfly i'm not quite sure that there's anything to do with these contracts it just i don't know maybe some of them are cheaper and i, I don't know exactly uh what they are maybe i should read them next time <laughs> let's press f and get some flights going now what we did in the let's try is we started at like 6 a.m but i want to start things a little bit later than that so we're gonna do one-time flights we'll schedule for today just just like at 9 or something so we can get a little bit of cash in uh, 9 and 9 15 the two-time flight will schedule for thir starting Thursday at the earliest time slot which is gonna be 505 we'll go back check out our skyfly we have another two we're gonna set, set this one up at 515 right there uh, and then we'll, what we'll usually have is for all of our aircraft stands, we'll have them offset by 15 minutes. Unless we have multiple runways. Um, and that'll be good. Wait, oh, what was that? Airline satisfaction. Oh, so they're not really satisfied yet. The number of flights that are currently scheduled. The number of flights that have been offered but are not yet scheduled. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, that's fine. Well, we've got some flights scheduled for today. Uh, once again, a, a golden opportunity for us. Nice. Always love it. Can we offer ramp whatever? Yeah. All right. Let's offer some ramp agent service. That's going to allow them to, I don't know, I, th I think it's like back up the plane and that sort of thing, um, which are always good. For this, well, we'll connect that. Let's connect that, actually. Well, I don't actually know if we want. Yeah, let's connect it because we're going to want to offer fuel. So let's go ahead and uh, build a service road here. I hope that we don't have a plane coming in quite yet. That's uh, that's a medium size. That's fine. Let's let's repair it. Why not? You gotta repair them every once in a while. Same with these things, but these don't don't take up that much condition. Uh, where are our builders? I think we have ten, don't we? <laughs> They're running around trying to get. Why did you guys go in here and then out? That's weird. You guys are weird. Uh, let's give you guys some seating while we're while we're waiting for our plane here. Large size costs a thousand. I'll take the I'll take the L. I'll take the the uh, the cash loss. Put one on the left side. Oh, our first plane! Haha! -ha! We got people. Oh god, they don't know how to get out. Oh yeah, they need to leave the secure zone. Okay, we'll we'll put the exit right here. I think. Uh, so we'll need to. Um, what do we need to do? We need to break the wall. Four. So break that wall right there, please, guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, and allow them to exit. Can you guys do that earlier rather than later, please? <laughs> we're making money though, at least when these planes land. Okay, come on, last one. There we go. Good. Now we're gonna go to our security. We're gonna get our secure exit, and we're gonna set that up right there. Advanced security exit. Is there like a cheaper security exit? I don't know. Maybe that's more secure or something. 
Once they build that, we'll be good. But, like, they're not building it for some reason. I don't know why. That's fun. I don't. Know. Let's see if we have more flights to schedule. Uh, any one-time flights? We have one one-time flight uh, with Skyfly. We're going to set that up to be at 4. And then our two-time flight, we're going to start on Thursday as well. We're going to start this one at 8.30. Then we have one right here with them. So we're going to set this one up on Wednesday. 15 minutes offset from this. Are you set up? Yes, you are. Okay, so our people should be able to get back. And I think we have a fully functioning airport now with two planes, two Canadian planes uh, from Maple <laughs> Maple Airlines. But it looks like we have everything set up. We even have some profit. Remember when we were at three, uh, 300,098? Or no, 398,000? Yeah, so we, we do have some profit going here. In fact, we have a lot of profit going. This is pretty good. I think we did a good job, guys. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be the end of episode one of Airport CEO. I think we did more in episode one of Airport CEO Let's Play than we did in three episodes of the Let's Try. But I guess that's how thing go, things go, right? Um, but anyways, if you guys liked it, hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below. And I'll see you guys in episode two of Airport CEO Let's Play.